Isaac and Mayor Great Southern, it was once the stamping ground of Britain's money classes. But changing tastes and a series of events culminating in the local railway station's closure 26 years ago helped ring its death now. CIE closed the hotel and put it up for sale in 1977. But these catering awards for meat presentation, cheeses and hygiene standards, and capped by the coveted Michelin star, bear testimony to the quite amazing transformation since then. Back in 1977, a Dutch businessman with absolutely no hotel experience whatsoever bought the hotel for £140,000 as a piece of sheer property speculation. The hotel, a relic of more gracious times, lay idle for several years. But then it was decided to take a gamble, and in the face of all the market indicators, it was reopened in 1980. The old Kenmare Great Southern now became the Park Hotel. Francis, the Irish hotel industry is in serious trouble. Big hotels are laying staff off week in, week out. You down here seem to be on, on, on the crest of a wave. Is, is there an easy, a simple explanation for this? Well, again, in the opening strategy in 1980, when we sat down to work out what we would do, we looked around and felt that this area of Kerry, which attracts about 70% of most of the tourists that come to Ireland, come to this area on visits, that the top end of the market wasn't very well serviced in this area. Um, there wasn't the sort of hotel like Drumoland or Ashford that would be able to offer the same sort of style. You're a hotelier. You're involved in the tourist industry yourself. I mean, is there a future for the... The, the person who's, who's ge geared at a market that can go to Spain. Yeah, correct. I think that sort of a, a, the bed and breakfast person will do well at the lower end, and then because the bed and breakfast in Ireland is particularly good, better than anywhere else in Europe, I would say. At the top end, we we'll, we we'll survive too. But the middle of the road person, the guy that's related to the uh, English tour, middle of the road English tour, that person can probably go to Spain considerably cheaper for something of the same sort of quality as is available in Ireland. And I think honestly, that the middle of the road hotel in Ireland is going to see a very difficult future. Well, I, I think of immediately of two sp hotels specifically in Dublin, Blooms and, and the Borrington, big city centre hotels that recently have had to lay off, uh, lay off considerable staff numbers. Why are they in difficulties and you down here, you're not? Well, you see, in our opening strategy in Kenmare, we decided that we would go for the upmarket because the area is not very well serviced by that type of hotel, like to complement Ashford or Dromoland or the Berkeley Court in Dublin. Uh, those city centre hotels probably have built up excess staff uh, over a number of years and then tend to find a situation with, with a slight recession that they are overstaffed. They then have union problems, which we don't have. A, we're not a union house here in Kenmare. Um, so we don't have the same situation regarding movement of staff. We can move staff from area to area and then we don't have to lay anybody off. But the city centre hotels would be locked into situations that wouldn't allow them to do that. And uh, would the flat, staff wouldn't be as flexible as we have them here. So this makes life easier for us. And the staff understand that they have a job and, you know, they're not, they're not too worried about really what area they work in.